The tools required to do this are a crusty old knife with a halfway sharp blade, a Torx driver with a pretty small tip, and a pair of tweezers. On the bottom of the CPAP machine, there's two screws that are easily accessible to pull, up, pull out. That's where we get started. And there's one more screw just above the air intake, a little Torx screw that comes out. And the next thing is to pop this top panel off. We'll set the air filter aside. But the, the top panel is held on with like five little tangs. And you take your knife blade, kind of slip it in between the two pieces of plastic here, and it'll when you do a little bit of prying and the uh, top panel will flex enough for the little tangs to pop out of their sockets. It's kind of a hasp type deal in the back here that you just got to take and pry loose with maybe a small screwdriver would work better than a knife blade to pop it loose and then the, the top panel just pops off. Now there's the ribbon cable there that attaches the touch pad on top of the screen. There's the, the little plastic button that just sits on top there. We'll set that aside. Now the hardest part of the whole problem, the hardest part of this project really is dealing with this ribbon cable and it's held, in, held onto the circuit board with a little tiny keeper that, that slips into the uh, socket there on the circuit board. What we have to do is take the tweezers and grab hold of that keeper and hold, keep your thumb nearby so the tweezer doesn't pop loose and accidentally stab the circuit board or the ribbon cables. So once that keeper is popped loose, we'll take the tweezers and just set the little keeper aside. And then the ribbon cable just is just laying there. So that takes care of that. Now there are two more Torx screws here to pull loose take those out and that's that's it for the torque screws just five torque screws holds it all together now we have to get this piece of plastic that covers the circuit board get that loose and there's a kind of a rubber silicone seal that goes all around and it kind of this top plastic piece kind of gets stuck down a little bit so a knife will help to kind of break it loose a little bit and then it just kind of rocks back and lifts right off. And that's the circuit board, the main circuit board there. The to pull this the rest of it open there's I had to do some prying originally and I think I was taken apart in the wrong manner but if we just break these uh, sides loose that'll allow this the, the kind of the front housing the front housing to be able to slide out of place and that will expose the uh, the antenna for the cellular modem Now this the cellular antenna is this ribbon here right on the front let's say uh, this black piece of mylar I think there's like a circuit board trace is what makes up the antenna notice the coax there is already loose because I've already done this in order to understand how I'm gonna shoot this video and make it work it was soldered in place where those where that solder is not note here I had to short out the outer core of the coax to the inner inner of inner core of the coax cable to short it out my first attempt at doing this by just disconnecting the antenna was unsuccessful 
things. So then I had to take it apart again and, and short out the coax to basically short out the transmitter. So then we'll just put it all back together. Um, same way we took it apart. The ribbon cable I just stuffed into there, or excuse me, the antenna I just stuffed back into there and tucked the uh, coax cable in out of the way and then put it all back together. top piece just kind of rocks back into place the screws on the bottom are what attach to this piece There's the button cover that just lays on top there. And now this is the most finicky part to get this ribbon cable into place. This ribbon cable just kind of slips right into the uh, socket on the circuit board. If you forget how this keeper came out, there's a, another ribbon cable socket right beside this one that is unused, but the keeper is there and it kind of shows you how the keeper is supposed to sit in, the, in there. This keeper needs to be uh, laid right on top of the ribbon cable, flat and straight, and once it's in place, notice I don't quite have it there, it's a little crooked. Having to work my work the camera and not being able to use my glasses is giving me grief. But once you get it lined up, just take and give it a little bit of forward pressure, and you'll it'll kind of snap into position, snap into place. You'll feel it, and that's it to get the ribbon cable in place. Now there's a ear on the front of this that slips in first, and then the side pan the side ears will slip into their sockets. Just a little bit of flexing of the top panel will allow this to go together easier. Now it's a matter of getting the three screws three last screws in place. Slip the air filter back in and then flip it over and we'll have the last two screws to put in. that's it completely put back together here at the end of the video is just a picture of the this here is the cellular modem 
that's built in onto the circuit board. I flipped the I pulled the circuit board off and flipped it over and just took a picture if anybody's interested. And that's it. Good luck.